All right, people, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the final review for the Xenon throughout this video. So there will be voice talking while fighting fish, and we'll go from there. Of course, this is the Xenon with an ammo spool and ammo bearings. This isn't the final one that I recently posted where I modified it to like the best of the best. This is just a standard Xenon with just the ammo stuff. So oh, here we are. We're making it down to the river. Let's get it. A lot of cat fishermen coming down in here. This made me just change what I want to throw. This is the first time I've ever been this far down in here. This is nice. Makes me want to throw a top water popper. The water probably shallow as I don't know what though. Oh, it's moving. Oh, oh, whoa, that was a fish. What am I doing? I'm kind of nervous. Let me loosen up the drag a little bit. That's too loose. That's too loose. The drag system is something that I actually do not like. I do not like the sound of their drag system. Hey. Getting a little excited here. What? The noise you hear is the ammo spool. I cut it and I don't like how that sounds. So I'm gonna get a new ammo spool and just leave it how it is where the shaft isn't cut and it'll be a lot smoother. So that's something I don't recommend. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What am I doing? I'm about to take this off and go to the top water. There we go. The little joker, man. They probably been messing with me this whole time. A little joker. Man. Holy cow, that was a small joker. The big one you're about. Only thing is, does he want this? Mayflies, man. Get out of here, Mayfly.
Oh, you know what? That just dawned on me. I'm gonna throw this one more time. When the mayflies is out like this, top water. I don't care if he gets off or not. Small as he is, he's gonna pull like he a hundred pounds. Should let you run around to see if a big body will come around you. I tell you, fish are smart, man. Get over here, little joker. Using small baits, you're gonna get all kinds of fish, man. I mean, the big, the big baits, you might get a small one here, or there, but they're gonna be big 90% of the time. But at the same time, it takes a long time with them big baits, unless you know the spot. All right. He's gonna break my line. He's gonna break my line. Only thing I can say. <laughs> okay, you. a little bit of thumb action into that fight. My bad if uh, my hand gets in the way. I don't know how smart this fish, man. That's the cool thing. Keep him up. Look at that bird. <laughs> bird, like, yo, I got to get a part to that. Where is he at? Oh, no. Oh, no. He is running. Okay, now he's coming towards me. Good, 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 good. I did not. Those were bass. up there that look like a cart. I need to get my net out. Gotta keep the... Ooh, he's trying to use a rock to cut my line. Huh. You in trouble now. Oh no. Come back. Get in the net, get in the net. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, little ones here and there. Nothing good? Nah. My final thoughts, my final thoughts is the Abu Garcia Xenon LTX BFS. A good reel to buy. Yes, and here's the reason why I say that. Abu does a thing where they put a little more drag force in their reels for big finesse in comparison to the other two big companies, Shimano and Daiwa. I think they do that because they target bigger species of fish with these reels versus the standard bass bait finesse system that Daiwa and Shimano do. I've seen a lot of people use these reels for like snakeheads in Malaysia and I forgot the other name of the, the other fish, it begins with an A, but those are pretty strong fish when it comes to drag force. They, they definitely pull a lot harder. They actually kind of fight these fish out of cover. As for bass, you can fight out of cover, which is fine, but snake heads tend to be in heavier cover. I personally think this reel, for me, I like it because it has a lot of options for customizations. You can customize it to down to a T to where it's casting a 0.6 gram lure or you can have it where it's casting a 15 gram lure. I recommend it. And I just wanna say if you guys have made it this far, I thank you. Like, you don't necessarily need to comment, leave a comment, share it. That's the primary thing, engage, get people to recognize that I'm doing this for you. Clap it up for yourselves. <laughs>